Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our shopping cart project. So this is our site so far. It's WordPress. It's using the WP e-commerce plugin because now we have a products page with checkout, transactions, all of that stuff. If you look at a product page, we've got one product so far. Pecan Pie. Now let's say we want to customize more aspects of the cart or the whole site in general, but specifically the cart. For example, if we go to the checkout page, it says, oops, there's nothing in your cart. I haven't added anything to my cart. Let's say I want a different message here. Well, we have to go through a few steps to change that. You want to make sure you're in the back end, so you're back in the WordPress dashboard. You want to go into settings, store. Once you're in the settings of the store, you have a variety of tabs at the top. You'll want to go to the presentation tab. And notice on the right side, we might have noticed this before, but now we'll take a look at it more in depth. Advanced theme settings. Some files have been moved to your WordPress theme folder. It'll show you this if you follow the next step. It might not show you this until we do what we're about to, but what it should say is WP eCommerce provides you the ability to move your theme files to a safe place for theme control. If you want to change the look of your site, select the files you want to edit from the list and click the Move button. This will copy template files to your active WordPress theme. Okay, so all that gibberish means that if we want to edit particular aspects of our shopping cart, we first have to copy these pieces to our current theme. So let's say we want to edit the, the shopping cart itself. Um, so you should see something that says WPSC shopping cart page near the bottom. All of these have names that pretty much make sense. What does the screen for products page look like? A grid view, transaction results, etc. So I want to select WP shopping cart page .php and select move template files. You should get a message at the top. Thanks, the themes have been copied. So the pieces of the theme. Where do you actually edit that? If you go to your appearance category and then select editor, this will bring up all the PHP, CSS, HTML, JavaScript of your theme. If you notice on the right, it says I've currently selected theme 2013 whatever your active theme is, and all the pieces of it are listed below. What does the 404 error page look like? What does the category template look like, etc., etc.? Near the bottom, after we've copied our WPSC shopping cart page, we have a listing there. Go ahead and click that. And what loads up is, are all of the, is all of the code of the shopping cart screen. Now this is PHP, CSS, uh, HTML, and JavaScript code. And if you know any of those languages, you'll really be in a better position to make changes because this stuff is actually complicated. But at least what I want to do is change this message so that it doesn't say, oops, there is nothing in your cart. Well, we're in the correct file, and we need to find where that message is at. So if we do a control F to find, and we search for oops. In this particular case, it wasn't complicated to find, but you'll notice there's a line near the top where it says, oops, there is nothing in your cart. Well, we can change that to say anything we want. We'll say, oops, please select an item first. All right, so instead of the generic message that comes built in, we've selected a new message. Don't forget to click Update at the bottom of the screen. It's updated. Go back to the front end and refresh. And then when you go to checkout screen, it should tell you what the fucking bullshit shit fuck.